Good morning, Wabbitman Wildcats, and happy Friday. Today is Friday, January 28th. We are coming up on a new month when we return on Monday. How exciting is that? So welcome to a fantastic, fun-filled Friday. Today for our teacher feature, we have a brand new teacher to Walt Whitman. So probably a lot of you may not have seen him before. So let's give a warm Whitman welcome to Mr. Johnson. Hey everyone, this is Mr. Johnson. I teach sixth grade math and science. For tomorrow's weather, we have a high of 29 with sunshine and clouds mixed. And we're supposed to get some snow over the weekend as well. And now over to Ricardo. We have Ricardo with birthdays today. Are there some birthdays today, Ricardo? Yes, there are. And um, so for birthdays today, we have three birthdays. Adeline Manley, Joshua Seafelt, and Nakia. And then for Sunday, there's two birthdays. We have Stefan Kiko and Ksenia Zivnuska. So I, I hope, well, we hope that you all have a happy birthday. Today for National Day, we will be having National Puzzle Day. National Puzzle Day is January 29th, and this would be a great time to encourage students to do a crossword puzzle, number puzzle, logic puzzle, physical puzzle, or word search. Basically, any kind of puzzle. There is a lot of data indicating that solving puzzles helps develop a person's ability to move back and forth between their left brain, logical, sequential, and thinking, to the right brain, creative, and movement part of the brain. Through the corpus, big word, um, <laughs> callosum, Using the corpus callosum regularly helps increase the problem-solving ability in all aspects of life and in stressful times like COVID quarantine and virtual school. Puzzles are great for stress relief. So if you have a puzzle at home or somewhere, I suggest you go and do it today of all days. Now, other announcements. So it is Funny Friday, and instead of my normal hilarious jokes, we're going to do some brain teasers because it's puzzle day. So I've got three for you. Listen up and get your amazing brain ready to go. So this brain teaser, it's a riddle. This item likes food, but water kills it. It likes food, but water kills it. What is it? The answer is fire. Mm, think about that one. How about this? The more there is of this, the less you see. The more there is, the less you see. I think there might be a couple right answers for that. Ms. Clemens, what are you thinking? I was just going to say, you've got some good ones today, Ms. Schultz. Yes, I do. The answer to that one is fog. I thought darkness would also oh, be fog. Yeah. Oh. All right, share these around the dinner table tonight. All right, here we go. One more. This is super tricky. How far can a dog run into the woods? How far can a dog run into the woods? Halfway. Because the other half, the second half, it's on its way out of the woods. All right, good stuff. Share this around the table. You'll impress your family. All right. Any more announcements or are we ready to close out our announcements for this Friday? I think that is all unless anybody else can come up with anything once again i know we forget but and i talked a little bit about it yesterday on the announcements please make sure we are still being safe being respectful and being responsible while we are virtual at school because that is the whitman way and the pbis way coming february we'll be having our new student of the month so we'll announce that on monday what we're looking for so make sure you enjoy the weekend get out play in the snow i hear maybe five inches mr johnson yikes um and we will see you back on monday
Bye. Bye, everybody. Happy Friday.